Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, hi my name is Imana and today I am doing my birthday vlog. So the first thing that we're going to do is going to be unboxing and then honey we are hitting the city. I came all the way home to celebrate my birthday and I am so excited. But before we go on ahead and get into this vlog, I did kind of want to start off, you know, sitting down, doing my unboxings of my things that I pretty much bought myself for my birthday. Oh yeah, I needed to open that so I could open it with you guys so that I can finally wear it, carry it, all that good stuff. But before we get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my subby shout out. Subby shout out goes to Tiffany Jones. Hey girl, how are you? How you doing? Thank you so much for going ahead and hitting that subscribe button, commenting and showing me so much love. I really do appreciate it. Along with the rest of you guys who are also doing that exact same thing. So then for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel, we are still celebrating my birthday. So if you saw my video on Sunday and you didn't subscribe, and you're watching this one because you want to know what I have in this bag. Honestly, come on, you might as well just go ahead and subscribe because I'm still celebrating my birthday and that would be like the best present that you can give somebody. It's free and I'm gonna just leave it at that, it's free. And you're probably gonna keep continuing to watch my videos anyway, so you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But if you're anyone who is like me, typically it takes me about two or three videos to go ahead and subscribe to someone's channel. So I will have a video here for you here for you and right here for you. And after you watch one or all three of those videos, hopefully you will go on ahead and subscribe. Now let's hop into this unboxing. So the first thing that I know that y'all probably wanna know is what in the world did I buy myself for my birthday? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make it like a little anniversary thing. Last year for my birthday, I bought my Neverfull and this year for my birthday, I bought me something else. So, and just, for you guys to know, for it to be very clear, this is an authentic bag from Louis Vuitton. I know that I showed another bag that was a replica and it also came in a bag like this, but honey, this is the real thing. I paid a, a, some good coins, a lot of them for this bag. And then I also, I let y'all know when I am doing a replica or an authentic unboxing. So this is an authentic bag unboxing. And if you don't believe me, here's me getting my bag from my essay at the Louis Vuitton store. So this is a real bag. Yeah. Oh my God, happy birthday to me from me, cause I deserve it. So taking my ribbon off and here we go. Here we go, we're almost there, ah, almost there, ah, we're almost there. Do, do. as you can see and I'm so excited this is definitely a bag that I have been wanting for a while and I was like I have to get this bag I have to so here we are I bought my bag you guys and I am so excited I think I paid here's my little receipt I paid a whopping $12.36.24 I'm just so excited. And for those of you who know, I did say, I wanna say in my November goals video that I was buying a bag that I already had a replica of. Someone thought that it was gonna be the Pochette Matisse and honey, my Pochette Matisse looks so good. I was like, I'm not even spending that Louis Vuitton money for the real one because the replica one that I have looks so good. But I did wanna go ahead and get me an authentic Speedy so. Uh, as you can see, I did get it in monogram. The one that I have that is a replica is in the same material that my Louis Vuitton Neverfull is. So I wanted to get something different because I cannot, you know, just keep buying the same material, different shape type of thing. I just personally, I can't do that. So it's like, if I'm gonna buy Louis Vuitton, you know, it, it gotta be different. And honey, she is different. So I absolutely love her. And I did get this in the size 30. I will say, I don't know what it is, but I almost feel like she's a little bit bigger than my replica Speedy, but I'm gonna do a whole comparison, um, authentic versus replica when I get back home. But this is the first thing that I bought. And then the other stuff that I bought, please don't just, you know, watch me unbox the Louis Vuitton stuff and then click out the video. Cause I have a lot of other stuff to show you. And like I said, this is a vlog. So I would love for you to go ahead and stick around for at least half of the video, maybe. I don't know why you're cooking, folding clothes, something. Just, just keep your hands off the screen, okay? Just watch and listen. <laughs> the next thing that I wanna show you, which 
I actually surprised myself when I bought these because I don't wear sneakers, but y'all already know, I saw something on Pinterest and I was like, I have to redo this outfit. So I bought me some sneakers and oh my God, mm, I think these are so freaking cute. It's definitely the back for me. And here's the front and it matches my glasses of course and I tried these on so the one thing that I will say is because I'm not a sneaker head or anything like that I personally did go into the Adidas store to try these on I am typically a size 9 and I bought an eight and a half I probably think I still could have gotten away with a size 8 but I didn't want it to be too tight you know that one thing where it's like one foot is just a little bit bigger than the other yeah one of my foots is just a little bit bigger than the other and i didn't want it to be cramped because if they're uncomfortable then i wasn't going to wear them but these are the ones that i got and i love that they're kind of like platform just a little bit i love shoes like this most of the keds that i have bought recently they give me you know a couple little, little extra inches there but these are the shoes that i bought for my birthday and i really really love those they are super duper comfortable and i'm gonna insert a picture right here so that you can see the full fit and how i how i styled that and put it together and then I got me another pair of shoes. These are up my alley now. <laughs> and I bought these from Nordstrom. And I don't remember where I saw these. I'm pretty sure I saw an ad on Instagram. And I was like, I have to get those. Or I saw a picture. No, I'm pretty sure I saw an ad. And I was like, oh my God, I have to get those. So, honey, these, these shoes, they bad. They are bad. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> Ooh, can we just get into the hill, honey? Like, who is she? She is me. She is turning 24. She's a baddie. She's me. And I needed these shoes. <laughs> so these are the ones that I got. Or as you can see, these are Steve Madden shoes. And I absolutely love these. Now with these shoes, I did the complete opposite than what I did with the sneakers. I actually went up half a size in these. And I'm so glad that I did because they would have been tight and I would have been upset because I wouldn't have been able to wear them. But I have these in a nine and a half and they fit really, really nicely. I cannot wait to wear these out. And I'm gonna be wearing them out in this vlog, but if you don't stay until the end or at least see what my outfit looks like, I'm gonna have a picture here for you so that you can see the whole fit put together. But these are so cute. As far as comfort, comfort, comfortability, comfortable, as far as if they're comfortable, I will let you guys know that later on in the video because I've just kind of broken these in with walking around my apartment in them, but I haven't actually been out for a couple of hours to kind of see if I like them. But these are the other shoes that I got. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I bought from Sephora for myself for my birthday. So hold on. I guess you can call these like goodies, but some of the stuff I really just needed, so but this I got me a Fenty lip balm and I'm so excited I got it in the color sweet mouth yes so I got it in the color sweet mouth and I think this is just so cute I don't have any of her lip balm so this is my very first one and when I tell you guys I'm in love and this is not your average lip gloss honey I mean the price is not your average you know target go-to lip gloss no this this was a pretty penny so got her but I felt I felt that it was necessary for me to spoil myself so you know spending those extra little coins for Fenty was worth it for my birthday for my birthday not just on a regular regular everyday type thing but for my birthday it was worth it and then the other thing that I got is this I never really see even like makeup channels talk about this but it is the Sephora gel lip liner this I absolutely love I have two of these and I am 110% sure that they went up on the price girl because this was $17 it was not $17 like two three years ago when I bought it I believe it was like maybe 12 so I don't know if more people are seeing this or what but I kid you not it was not $17 like two three years ago it just it just wasn't but I also bought me one of these and my hydro milk primer had to get this literally had to this is my holy grail I've been using the Too Faced one and I like it because it does add moisture back into my face but this one honey it keeps my foundation on me all day because it's sticky and tacky and I absolutely love this 
other thing that I bought was some setting spray. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I have not used setting spray at all during quarantine. I haven't. Nine times out of 10 when I do have makeup on, it's to film and I'm literally just sitting in the camera for like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm not wasting that. But since it's my birthday weekend and I came all the way home, honey, I'm going out. So we gotta set the face. So I bought me some setting spray. And for my little birthday gift from Sephora, it looks like I have like this little milk trio type thing and maybe it's a blush I know it's a mascara and it says the hydro get primer is in here so if it's your birthday month honey make sure that you go to Sephora and get your free gift and I believe that's it yeah that's definitely it because my bill was like well over $60 even just buying that stuff so thank you for watching my little unboxing and now we're gonna get ready to go out my sister and I are gonna go grab some sushi so I'm super excited we're gonna get some sushi take some pictures and just kind of chill so buckle up and let's go okay so after waiting three hours for my sister don't do that <laughs> honey we finally in the car on our way to go get some sushi Hopefully, I'm hoping that the traffic isn't too, too bad. I'm not gonna be able to vlog while I'm driving because my phone is paired to the car and I wanna listen to music and I don't I don't think that that's gonna go together very well. So, we will see you guys once we get to Optimus Hall. Okay guys, so we're in Optimus Hall. I hope that you can hear me. It's so cute in here. It's like an oversized bougie food court pretty much in Charlotte, but it's super cute. So after I ordered my food, I'm gonna kind of show you guys around a little bit more. Okay, so I hope that you could have kind of like heard me earlier in the video, but we're at Optimus Hall in Charlotte and I will have, if you live in Charlotte, I'll have the address and everything in the description box down below. But right now we're just gonna go on ahead and wait for our food outside because baby, I got a full face on and I don't want this mask to entirely mess up my makeup, so I'd rather wait outside. <laughs> and it's actually a really nice day out here. It's nice and sunny, so I don't mind waiting outside. We'll probably eat outside as well just because it's a sunny a nice bay and they have like a lot of benches and chairs and really just cute spots to go on ahead and eat outside so yeah and then as we're waiting on our food they're gonna like send us a text message once our food is ready so who's ready to eat so we got our food now we're gonna come out here and sit I'm gonna sit in the shade oh wow there's no table well yeah there's no like real table okay so we can sit over here Oh my gosh. <sighs> Wearing a mask is really not my favorite thing, even though that I know it's safe. I encourage you all to do so. I just personally don't like it. <laughs> but here we go, we got some food. So I got a shrimp volcano roll and my sister just got, I think it was like a California roll. But other than that, it is so cute out here. Alrighty, so we just got finished eating and I'm gonna go on ahead and try to take some more pictures because I took some earlier, but I feel like the sun is going down a little bit. So I hope that the lighting is a little bit better because the lighting was just like in my face. But yeah, so we're gonna take some pictures and then after that, we're probably gonna just head back home because there was really nothing else that I wanted to do. All right, y'all, so I'm back home. Oops, sorry. So I'm back home and I'm really just about to chill. I'm actually working on creating like a YouTube intro because I kind of don't have one of those. So I'm just kind of working on that. And honestly, I'm just gonna chill, probably have some wine. It was so funny because I came in the house and I handed my mom a bottle of wine. And she was like, this better not be for the wine that, you're, that you drank last night. I said, 
you know it's a replacement for all the wine that I'm gonna drink this weekend. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna sip on some wine and really just relax, chill. I got on some comfy socks and the outfit that I'm wearing is still really comfortable. So it's like a chill outfit and just gonna relax. So good morning guys, it is Saturday, November 7th and wow. <laughs> My birthday is literally tomorrow. I can't believe I'm turning 24. And I'll honestly say, you know, the older you get, I'm learning to just be okay with life. I know I've been saying that for a while, but like, it doesn't get easier the older that you get. So today's plans are to go to a winery and then go into dinner. So obviously I should be way more excited than what I am, you know, the older you get, more people have responsibilities. You know, it's not middle school and high school anymore. It's not even college anymore. So I'm a little bit bummed. Two of my really close friends won't be coming to the winery. I'm really just trying to, you know, keep a smile on my face and say that everything's gonna be okay. I know this year I planned really small due to COVID. I didn't invite a whole bunch of people. I think I only invited like three of my friends to go to the winery and I invited maybe like four or five of my friends to dinner. So it's like, you know, if two people can't come or, you know, one person can't come, it, it looks a lot bigger than having, you know, seven to nine people and two people can't come. And it's like, okay, it's fine. But yeah, I definitely planned smaller and reservations. It's kind of hard to make big party reservations right now due to COVID. I know some restaurants have like a cap on how many people you can bring and there's still social distancing in the restaurants. So, I mean, it is what it is. We're gonna, we're gonna make today a great day and we're gonna keep it pushing. So that's all that we can do. But hopefully the next time you see me, I will probably be at the nail salon. Hopefully I can film in there a little bit. And then after that, we're gonna go take some pictures and sip some wine. <laughs> So we are at the winery. I have one of my close friends here, Sydney from college. And then my mom is over there. And then my aunt. So we came here and we're trying the flight that they have today. So they have four different wines. I'm not even gonna tell you what they are. So I'm gonna have it in the description box down below. But here is the first wine that I'm gonna be trying. So we'll see, cause I only put a little bit in there. So I hope that I like it. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not as dry as I thought, but it's also not super duper sweet, but it's still pretty good. So this is the first one that I have, and then I'll have it, like I said, in the description box down below, so that if you do live in Charlotte or you do come here, then you'll know what wines I got. Um, and then I'll go on ahead and I'll show you the last three that we had, and then I also got a cheese board. So I'll show you that as well. Okay, so here's the second wine that I have. It's a little bit darker than the first one. It doesn't smell really any different than the first one that I had. I don't like that one. That one's a that one's a little too dry for me personally. But if you like dry wines, then I think that you'll like that one. But for me personally, it, so here's the third one that I have. I'm hoping that this one is is the one, but we'll see. It's not bad, it's pretty, but oh, the cheese came out. <laughs> but yeah, this one is, it's okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try the last one. Okay, so here we are, here is the last one. Please let this one be the one. <laughs> Okay, so it's not bad, but none of these are like extremely sweet. So if you know me, I, I love sweet wines. So I think I'm going to try one that is not, you know, from this winery and hopefully that one will be sweeter. So I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, 
so I ended up getting the flatbread for my meal and she brought out one of the sweeter wines that they have here and y'all this one is bomb like I love this one so it's very sweet gives me fruity vibes and those are the vibes that I like to have so the pizza that I have is a mozzarella flatbread and it looks so good let's just hope that it tastes good So it's good. I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating, sip some wine, and just enjoy the vibes. So my mom is trying a cheese. <laughs> no, she said it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> she literally said it's the seasonings for me and and not in a good way she doesn't like it <clears throat> all right guys we finished it for the flight and my mom's gonna go ahead and top it off and finish this off with this last glass yes we're just gonna go ahead and take it to the head yes we are <laughs> I told you it was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. Yeah, that thing is bad. <laughs> hey, all. So, as you can see, I'm back home. I enjoyed going to get wine so much. That was literally so much fun. And I had never gone to like a little winery, bistro type restaurant type deal, but it was really nice. The wines. But you know, we were really there, just there for the ambience and the pictures, honey, okay? And the support of black business because that was a black owned winery. So now I'm gonna start getting ready for dinner because I'm gonna go out, meet some of my childhood friends from like middle and high school. We're gonna go out to eat, take pictures, have some drinks. My best friend is coming over because y'all do not drink and drive. So she is gonna be pretty much like my DD for the evening. But I hope that you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. My friend Sydney, she did get me a birthday present but i'm gonna actually open that tomorrow on my actual birthday so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed dinner i may not vlog too too much just because i have not seen my friends in so long so i don't want to you know overwhelm them with the filming and all that stuff but i will take you and show you parts of the night that i can so get some tea honey get comfortable because this birthday vlog is not over out with friends I turned 24 today on Sunday and this morning don't really have too too much planned I'm going to have breakfast with my family I'm gonna open up some presents and then honey I'm getting back on the road to go to Atlanta probably not gonna be here much longer I think it's maybe like around noon right now so I'm gonna try to get on the road at around 1 30 2 o'clock ish but yeah so so far last night had dinner went out for drinks and it was just super duper enjoyable but now i think my mom called me so we're gonna go have some brunch so got my breakfast and i guess we're going to brunch because we're not eating at the regular breakfast table that we don't need it Oh, honey, they said we're going to brunch brunch. This is so cute. Y'all, look at this. And y'all think I'm bougie. My parents are bougie. But this is so cute. I feel like I'm at a little cabin or something. Aww. 
Alrighty guys, so here's my little gift box table. So we just got finished having brunch. So now I'm gonna open up some presents. Okay, so this is definitely something that I wanted. So I really wanted one of these so that my burgers could look like they are at the restaurants. So definitely wanted one of these. This is what I wanted. Thank you. This one is from my friend Sydney. She found it! Okay, you guys, so I was on Instagram maybe like two or three weeks ago, and I saw that Stella Rosa had posted this one, and I never found it, and she found it! Thanks, Sydney! <clears throat> she knows me so well. I do love my fuzzy socks. She got me a candle. This smells really good. This one is from my friend Mason. So I got some bubbly to pop for my birthday. So this one's from my best friend's mom. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It lights up. So I can put this like in my kitchen. This is definitely from my mom, you guys. <laughs> I'm weak, bro. Clearly, this video is being filmed in 2020, the year of the pandemic. So, here we are. Let's get right here. There's another bottle of wine. Actually, I am so glad that people got this because that means that I don't have to go out and spend my money on all this wine. And I was running out. So, I then got a little restock up. So, I'm very appreciative for this. So guys, that goes on ahead and that's gonna conclude it for the gift opening session. The next time you guys will see me, I'm either probably gonna be on the road or finally back at home. Alrighty guys, wow. I hope that it's not like super duper dark, but I'm, as you can see, I'm back at home. So I got back to Atlanta, I wanna say around like 5.35ish. It took me about three and a half hours to get home from Charlotte. So I'm finally here. I enjoyed my birthday weekend so much, seeing my friends. I know I had like a little breakdown on Saturday morning, but it's all good. I enjoyed seeing my friends and just hanging out, going to dinner, getting dressed up, taking pictures. And it's like the friends that I hung out with, I've literally known them since middle school, some elementary school. So as you can see, like the friends that I keep, like I've, I've made a lot of friends when I was younger and the relationships have honestly just kind of stuck so tonight I'm going to end my birthday off with a little bit of wine as you can see I have like some wine and some candles over there so I'm going to end my birthday with watching Netflix and then my boyfriend is gonna bring me some sushi and we're just gonna chill I have on like the cutest little chill clothes and all of this is from a little bit everywhere I think my cardigan is from Fashion Nova tank top forever 21 and like my pants are from TJ Maxx, but I'm super duper comfortable Happy to be home. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog I hope that you have enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye